welcome back to flipping nuts got a new project for you today it's been a couple months I'm sorry about that uh, we've had to overcome some pretty major tragedies over the last couple months and we're just kind of just trying to get rolling again um, I got this new project here this Jeep that I'm gonna be working on today um, I don't know too much about it um, some of you may have seen this thing it was for sale on Facebook and uh, so we're gonna dive into this thing together outside of getting it here I haven't really done anything to this Jeep, so I just want to, you know, we're going to take you guys along with me on this one and see if, what we can do to get this thing running and uh, driving again. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, so what we got here is a 1996 uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ, uh, it's a 6 owner 4 liter, um, 4 wheel drive, uh, as you can see it's a little beat up, uh, looks like it was somebody's play toy obviously and most of them are. Uh, one of the cool things is it's got, you know, you know brand new rubber, uh, well, which is nice all the way around. Like I said, I haven't even taken it off the trailer yet. Um, it's a little windy back here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it has a snorkel kit, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't appear to be connected to the intake anywhere. And uh, so I'm gonna have to replace that. Um, again, not the best looking Jeep out there. Um, trying to get you around here. Uh, not a lot to see so far. Um, I know the truck's not running. Uh, he tells me it's an electrical issue of some kind. I really have no idea. Um, I haven't even, like I said, I haven't done anything other than bring it, park it back here in the backyard. Um, so, but man, I tell you, that's brand, those tires are brand new. I love that. Well, if nothing else, I got a set of good tires. If I can't get it running. Anyway, let's get you up there and uh, and see what we're up against here. Uh, get this camera to level out. <laughs> anyway, let me get the other camera. It might work a little better. See you in a minute. All right. So, go ahead and get these straps undone. probably overkill but you know better be safe than sorry Just hang on a minute all right so let's get this thing open up See what we're up against here. There we go. So, looks like this battery here, I don't know if you guys can see all this wiring here. Um, gosh. So I'm guessing this is all from the KC lights. Got a bit of a Rasp, rat nest of wire on here. I don't know what this green wire is, but boy, I tell you what, it's awfully chewed up here. Um, I know this battery is completely dead, so um, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this battery out and um, get it on a charger. I got another battery I can stick in here, at least see what happens if we try to crank it. So let me uh, let me get to taking this battery off these turn these uh, cap uh, battery cables off and uh, see what we're working with here All right. well 
you gotta love all this crap on here. <laughs> he tells me that it's got a new starter on it. It looks brand new. I don't know if it's all hooked up properly. Honestly, I should probably check all that before we get too deep into this. I can't go over all this craziness. See my fat belly. Alrighty. This it's pretty bad when your when your go box, your quick quick box is getting to be as full as your regular tool box. Anymore, it's just as convenient to use that, buddy. This will even work because the terminal's on the wrong side, but I just, I had this one. Uh, unfortunately, this is from the Mazda. <laughs> yeah, eventually I'll get back to it, who knows. Nobody seemed to really like that Mazda video, so. I don't know. I might just finish it and it might just disappear. I don't think this is going to work. Let me see if I can finagle this a little bit. Alright, so I robbed the, the battery out of the uh, stinking Lincoln over there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. I haven't been using that too much lately. Uh, we used it a couple weeks ago for my mom's funeral. I kind of thought somewhere in my heart she might get a kick out of that and uh, you know it was kind of fun and we all had a big laugh over it the limo that traded for a lawnmower if you haven't seen that video it's, it's uh, about a year ago you just check out my videos all right let's see how this shakes out this is obviously not going to be the battery we leave in it, but you know, at least we can see what happens when we try and turn it over. So let's give it a whirl. See what happens. Try and get around my this trailer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little rough. Well, we have lights. A uh, couple of lights, anyway. No joy. Alright. I can't imagine this guy was too worried about this thing getting stolen. But we have little lights all over the place. Yep, I am getting nothing here. So apparently it's running. Sorry about that guys. What I ended up having to do was I had to jump the, uh, the starter because something, something's wrong with the ignition. So the ignition's not engaging so I jumped the starter. It is running. Um, obviously it sounds like it's got a pretty bad manifold lead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the alternator and make sure uh, that it's charged, or see if it's charging. So stand by for that. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, this thing does have a bit of a, uh, 
leak and as you can see there there's nothing there's no fan guard there at all so that's kind of sketchy um, can't really get you in there to see the alternator one of the things I'm checking there If there's any magnet, you know, magnetism on it, that usually will tell you right away. Easy way to tell if it's charging, but I can, I can pretty much guarantee you it's not. Um, let's see here. actually looks like it is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not real sure if you can see that or not. Yeah. It's actually charging pretty well. Anything over like a 13.6 is a pretty good indicator and it's kind of hovering right around 13.92. Actually, I think, I think my alternator is okay. I actually thought the alternator was bad on this thing. So it turns out it may just be the ignition switch. A lot of times on, on these Chryslers, I don't know why, but the, uh, the actuator in the ignition the, the, that sticks out and goes into the ignition uh, actually will it's you know usually made of like a pot metal or aluminum anyway it'll crack or break and you can turn the key on but nothing will happen and uh, you know you can replace the starter you can replace everything in the world but it's you know if it's that switch you're just chasing ghosts really so let's go around to the car and see if it'll go in gear go around to the back of the car and see what happens when I put it in gear hang on all right well except for the Got a generator light on. The loud, loud exhaust because it doesn't have any. <laughs> yeah, it's showing that it's charging. I don't know if you can see that right there. 132,000 miles. That's not too bad. Uh, no idea what some of this stuff is. good sign I know the linkage on this is not right so I'm gonna have to fiddle fart around with that and see what what the issue is with that linkage there that's pretty common so all right well let's get it unhooked see if it'll I can pull it off the trailer stand by
well, that's going to take it for today. Um, I know it was a short video. I just wanted to basically get back out here and get started on these videos. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and be doing the oil change, uh, changing the coolant, fluids. I'm going to reconnect the uh, transfer case and figure out what's going on with that ignition. It's not going to be fun to have to start that with a sc uh, screwdriver every time. <laughs> so anyway, if you could hit the like, uh, subscribe, that would be super. I, you can see I don't have that many subscribers. I appreciate every last one of you, though, very much. Um, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Have a great day. God bless.